everyone. Welcome back to Midday. We are here at Earl's in Sahali for our segment, Perfect Pairing. We're joined by the general manager of Earl's, Mark Connolly. Thanks for being here, Mark. Oh, thank you. And we have, of course, the lovely co-host and the expert, the wine expert, Bryce Herman, joining us. Hello, Bryce. Hello. I'm glad to be here, and it's yeah. great to have a new host along with me. This is wonderful. I haven't and, done this before. This is exciting. Susan, I feel bad for Susan because she's missing out on this. She, so, Susan, I hope you're having a good time, but that's boy, right. you could be here. And when she does see this segment, <laughs> she's going to be jealous. Oh, I know she will. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about, we have an appetizer sitting in front of us right now. Uh, Mark, maybe you can just walk us through what we're looking at here and what we'll be tasting. Okay, um, here we have one of our most popular appetizers, our prawn and dynamite roll with a sriracha and togarashi aioli. Mm -hmm. And uh, we kind of make it a little bit more mainstream. So yeah. there is tempura uh, prawns in there. So if people are a little nervous about having raw seafood. You know, this kind of draws them into it a little bit more uh, with pickled ginger and a nice um, maple soy glaze over top. Do Sounds the non-sushi lovers love this? Um, Everyone that I've served this to absolutely loves it. I kind of have to talk them into it a little yeah. bit at first because they do get nervous about uh, sushi and it's just the whole, you know, thought process of eating raw fish. But, yeah. you know, we make it very mainstream and it, like I said before, it's one of our highest sellers. So I know you'll enjoy it. It looks delicious. One of the ones I enjoy. I do order this. You know what? I've actually had this one too and oh, it's delicious. Um, okay, and then uh, Bryce, what, what are we pairing it with? Because of course well, it's all about the food and let, the wine. I'm going to so. let Mark tell you exactly what okay. he Because he's made these these uh, choices You've for us. Choices. I just did a little yeah. pouring while you were chatting about Excellent. the food. Excellent. Okay, so Mark, what are, um, we, what are we pairing it with here? Uh, for the pairing, I picked one of our signature uh, wines, or whatchamacallit, uh, Chardonnay. <laughs> I like um, that name. <laughs> the owner, Buzz Fuller, actually came up with the name of the, of the wine because mm -hmm he couldn't remember it the, the next day. <laughs> Don't know why I'd forget. That's but, um, awesome. That's yeah, funny. it's a beautiful Chardonnay out of California, so a little oak aging to it, so you'll it help balance out the, the spiciness of the dish, but with the crispness of the, you know, of the Chardonnay, mm -hmm. it'll balance well with the, the mangoes and the avocado yeah. and the appetizer. What are you so getting please. in there? What, what smells well, are you got, getting it's in It's got there? a very nice... Um, Okay, to oh, it. Yeah. I'm finding this one's very a little bit floral, even. Yeah. Yep. So um, I quite like oh, this one. Oh, it smells delightful. Yeah. Now we're gonna go in. Okay, let's do it. Sticks okay, we're gonna all. do this chopsticks, people. Chopsticks. All right. I'm not the here best, but I'm not horrendous, so it's okay. Well, all right, here goes. You have. And you gotta you gotta pop the whole thing in. Okay, let's all do right. it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Well, otherwise you don't get all the flavors, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of spicy. Yep. It is. Yeah. And like then that. try it with some of the wine, and you know the crispness of it should cut down the spice, but also bring out the, the maple in the maple soy reduction that's over top. Yes, I love it. Yeah. And there's avocado in there too? Yes, fresh avocado, mangoes, cucumber. Mm -hmm. That does work really well. Prong. I have to say that is really a nice pairing. I actually for, haven't for had this dish in a long time. No, but this this does go well, and I and I, you know what? I would actually even order it with a glass of this drink. You would. I would. That's I, coming I from to, the wine expert. I have people. to say I would <laughs> because I I really do. I agree with you on this yeah. one. That little bit of maple is absolutely amazing, and uh, you know I think what I'm finding with that is that you know this little bit of crispness and so on really does smooth it out, and that little bit of heat. I, of course, I like spice mm -hmm. in my food anyway. Yes. Uh, that's a really nice compliment. Oh wow, yeah, you're right. Excellent like choice, Mark. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, um, here's one of another high-selling entrees of ours, our signature seven-ounce uh, sirloin mm -hmm. um, Angus beef uh, made with homemade garlic mashed potatoes and organic uh, carrots and beets sautéed with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper with some freshly grated horseradish. Um, I also picked a nice uh, bourbon mushroom sauce with cremini and button mushrooms and a nice rich uh, demi-glaze. Mm -hmm. So I paired that with um, one of our the fullers uh, made by Peter Lehmans out of the Brosa Valley in Australia with a Shiraz Merlot Cabernet. Um, what about the veggies now? I know you change your veggies quite often here. So yes. is this a, sort of the fall medley? Yes, okay. yeah, we, we switch it up just seasonal based to get the best quality product we can, you know, for, for you. Mm -hmm. right. And yeah. um, this is obviously something you can find on the fall menu then. Yes. Okay, yeah. I like it. It's fabulous. Well, what are, you, what are you getting in there, wine expert? Tell us. Well, you know what, there's a little smokiness. Oh, this yeah. one's gonna be earthy. See, I need you to just mm. tell me and then I can smell it. Yeah. You know? Well, but that's <laughs> wine tasting is you have to try it and know, pick out yeah. the flavor characteristics that, that you that get. That you out get of it. on yes. your palate, yeah. yeah. Do you, you can do the first cut. 
the first cut's the deepest. Ooh. It sure is. <laughs> and that's going to take some work. It's going to so. take some work, yeah. Although it but looks juicy. I, I, it I, looks juicy. Yeah, and I know that we were talking a little bit before we did this segment, and we were just talking about the fact that um, Earl's is definitely... Um, you know, wanting to make a point that when you're thinking of going out for dinner, you may not think of them for steak and red meat and that type of a thing. And uh, but you know, with being part of the Angus beef program mm -hmm. and so yeah. on, these are great steaks, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, really yeah. important that people and understand every steak that there for them. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. every steak that we do serve has our own signature porcini herb rub with porcini mushrooms, a little bit of soy sauce, uh, rosemary, oregano, and garlic. So and you were saying you made the mashed potatoes house in house, fresh made, fresh in, made, made in house every that's single all, that's day. That's something that Earl's does quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah, to making every, everything fresh every morning. Yeah, ninety per ninety eight percent of our sauces and dishes are all prepared fresh in house every single day and cooked to order. Delicious. So and that makes it so much more horseradish amazing. Horseradish looks like it's fresh horseradish as well. Freshly fresh grated. Radish, yeah, yeah, you can tell the difference. Oh my gosh. I could eat steak every day. <laughs> Although I've heard that's not the greatest decision <laughs> yeah. to do. Well, well when it's that good. Mm. Yeah. This isn't a medical segment, so I No, <laughs> we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> and and because this is, you know, it's a big full, you know, body, it's a steak, mm -hmm. so you know, you've got that, it's a big red meat. Um, having the Shiraz mm -hmm. in there is works really well, so nice job in my good mind pairing. to turn that off because again, yes. You know, to me, this is where those big full-bodied reds yes. can hold their own really well against a nice big steak or something like that. Uh, a little bit of spice in here even holds really you well against the spice. horseradish. Yeah. And yeah. so, yeah, I find it works really mm -hmm. well. And Shiraz, you know, a typical Shiraz has got some, you know, notes of pepper and other things in it anyway. Yeah. So it does work really well with something that's got a little spice and something that's big. But it's not um, going to overpower And the, it's not going to overpower The, the dish just, and or the wine. That's right. Yeah. And the nice thing with this, of course, is this is a blend. So, yeah. you know, we're dealing with a, with a cab and Shiraz. So it is delicious. Fantastic. Delicious, delicious. And you must come to Earl's and try these dishes. Mark, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Fabulous yeah. choices. Fabulous choices with both the food and the wine. We really appreciate that. Excellent. So come on down to Earl's and Bryce. Thanks for being here, as oh, always. Thank you. It's, the, been, uh, wine it's been great expert. having you here. Yeah, it was fun. So Susan's probably jealous now, but she, she will can be. come down. We'll take her out for dinner. We will. We'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll be right back after a break. Stay with us. <laughs>